Hi all, welcome back to more Space Engineers. Hal here, and well, it looks like one of the uh, meteors took out my solar panel. <laughs> That's the only thing that it hit. Uh, so I was on my way over to go <laughs> grab some iron, and I realized missing a solar panel on that mining outpost. Came over here, and we had apparently the... Uh, the gods that are look at that we got some gold up here <laughs> for space engineers really don't like this mining outpost look at this we actually had one that was oh hello we had one that was a you don't get any closer near miss look at this i mean we've actually got ice here in the uh bloody passageway so in case you haven't known or didn't hear, um, the folks at Keen Software have actually officially transitioned Space Engineers from the Early Access Alpha over to a Beta. And there's more Meteors coming in. Great. So let's see if we can dig... Wow, look at this. Holy crap. This is crazy. Oh. Uh. Hello? <laughs> wow. So, did the... No, it's just... The impact crater... Caused a... What looks like a beacon... Like a, an actual serious collapse here. Look at this. That is nuts. All right, well. Oh, so I'm gonna have to go check the other ones now, but at least it's uh, fixed. And as part of the transition over into the official beta, they have gone ahead and fixed some of the uh, issues that were causing gra the graphics problems. So a bunch of the, the mods have been updated. So if you are playing and you're worried about the uh, the, the update destroying your mods that you may have uh, running, you might want to try loading in and taking a look because it looks like most of them are now fixed. They have also, uh, looks like they've upgraded the graphics on at least the hand tools a little bit. I mean, look at this, this is crazy. All right. Yeah, that's just, wow. I have to say, that's pretty impressive. All right, so let's get the hell out of here. So yeah, the mod looks, you know, the a lot of the mods look really good now. That's yeah, just crazy how much crap happened over here. Oh wait, there was, uh, one of these had gold in it, I think. That's iron. Is that the gold? That's gold, okay. Always, this is one of the good reasons to come take a look whenever you uh, have asteroids strike or meteors strike. That is cobalt. Magnesium. All right. Not that I really need magnesium, but what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go drop off iron. I need to gather a couple of K of this stuff. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look around and see if we've got any platinum in any of these. I have found a little bit of platinum, so I want to check to see if we can find a little bit more. It would be uh, really nice if we can. You know, no, nothing like getting a jump on ion thrusters early. Right, so let's go ahead and drop these off. Drop that back off. I'm going to pick up a little bit more hydrogen, and uh, we will be right back. Okay, and yes, so we're back, and I did find some platinum in one of the craters. Look at that. Always nice when the uh, the game does something nice for you after screwing you over. <laughs> any, any left? No. How much did we get out of that anyway? Oh, I got 300 platinum. That's actually a good amount of platinum. 
Uh, that will allow us to make a couple of small thrusters. Not that that's really going to do me all that much good right now. Because I still have to have the ability to get off the planet before the ion thrusters are useful. Or even usable. How much gold was that? Holy crap. Is that not gold? That was nickel? Oh, yeah, okay. That's what I get for not checking it. Alright. So our inventory is full. Let's see what else we've got over here. That looks like that is just ice. Uh, that's cobalt, and it's a significant amount of it because it's actually registering. You look like... What are you? Ice. Ice. <laughs> Sorry. So you are just the hard ice. Okay. Alright. And... More platinum? Nope, silver. Do I have anything? I have ice. We can get rid of the ice. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> I just got rid of you. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can grab the rest of this, because I need as much of the silver as I can get. It's actually one of the things that I was going to have to go mine. But if they're gonna, just going to give it to me, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say no to it. Okay, let's get rid of the rest of this. Alright, a little bit more... Mwahaha! <laughs> awesome. Oh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and keep cleaning up in this area. And we're going to go drop this stuff off. So let me go, <laughs> let me go get this stuff done and we will be right back. And we're back, so... <laughs> Oh, I've done quite a bit of mining, specifically the uh, resources out there. Ended up dying again, had to go do a corpse run. <laughs> wasn't paying attention, ran out of hydrogen, slammed the ground at about 100 meters a second. So yeah, that wasn't too good. Well, it was entertaining, but... <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've pulled... I don't know how much platinum. We've got 30 units of platinum in here. We've got uh, about 1.6 K uh, platinum ore, a little bit of iron, a little bit of uranium, and a lot more silver. So basically, most of the resource that you're seeing here, at least as far as the platinum, the gold, and the silver are concerned, are basically what I've been recovering from the, uh, the meteors. Oh, it's quite a bit of it, actually. So let me show you what I've been working on. In between the, the harvesting runs, uh, we have now painted the walkway here. We've got, a, you know, basically a, a designated path out into the hangar. Whoa. Crazy. Oh, yeah, before I forget. Oh, let's get rid of the uh, the body location. Don't need to see that anymore. We know where our corpse was. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, I've gone ahead and put some lights in. Basically, we're going to have... This is going to be the small hangar for now. The idea is, is that we will have probably a, uh, a mining craft and then a welder slash transport craft, and this way we'll have a small space for each of them. I'm not expecting to build anything big, and they may even just be remote drones. I may not even uh, put a seat on them. Oh, yeah, I need to put more lights in. Huh. All right, easy enough. Um, so basically all I was doing was trying to designate a little bit of space in here. Uh, not only will it give us a little bit more light, but it makes it a little bit easier to start separating out what I need for room and what is overkill. So we sh like I said, we should have enough room to either do one fairly large build or two or three small ones. And then I need to figure out where how we're going to get things wired in for onloading and offloading materials and how we're going to get transfers done and that kind of stuff. Now the back wall, I haven't actually started upgrading yet because I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to leave it there or if I'm going to move the production facilities over here. So basically what I'm thinking about is since this is 10 wide, 
I'm thinking maybe do refineries, do five refineries across, and then across the top of them, we run the assemblers so that everything is tied together. It's all feeding each other. And then we just need to figure out a storage location. So I'm thinking storage is actually going to be either behind that or over here maybe. Oh yeah, and I did finish the reactor. <laughs> I forgot about that. So uh, yeah, we've got the reactor in, everything's powered up and running. We've put some glass in here, you know, to keep you from walking out there. Just like a little, uh, a little observatory. And we're gonna have, uh, I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm gonna put a brace on this side or on this side. I haven't decided yet, but we're gonna do one uh, giant, the, the two by three window over here and then we'll have you know like a desk or something sitting back here and just stuff that you know a little bit of interest I'm thinking I'm probably gonna put the pillar here because if I do that it hides part of this but if I put the pillar here oh, and I guess if because you come around the corner and you'll be able to see it through there so maybe we'll see so yeah, um, as I was saying, but I'm trying to figure out where I want to put in a residence and in the storage uh, area. Now it does make a certain type of sense to put storage here where this uh, stone is. Basically we'll hollow this out and put a, uh, probably four of the large cargo containers, which means we're gonna have to drill down a little bit and drill up a little bit as well. Um, but that does open up a lot of space and it also puts us in line with where we are for the old facility because I'm going to leave the old stuff here. All of this is going to stay here. Um, basically what's going to happen is, is this will be the fallback stuff in the case that something happens to the hangar because the hangar is kind of exposed and over here is a little less exposed. I mean pretty much the only way for the for this stuff to get destroyed is it's going to have to take multiple direct hits where the hangar only needs to take one or two above it or directly in front of it so makes sense to leave this stuff here I don't want to tear it out all of this is going to be in I've already deactivated this reactor uh, but I did leave a little bit of uranium in it speaking of let me see really quick because we've been refining some. Actually, you know what? I'll kick you over there. You're still at a hundred. This is pulling it out. Okay. Just making sure. So when this is done refining, I'll probably end up with another couple of uh, uranium. And what we'll do is we'll move it over here. I want to have at least five uranium in this so that we have enough power um, to run everything for a couple of minutes. That way, you know, we can go out and mine more uranium, throw it in the, in the refineries and just basically continue to go. All right. So I think that is about it for today. It's kind of a short episode. I know. Um, oh yeah, before I forget, I want to show you because with the update to the beta, they did fix the graphics issues so no more pink and purple hallways but this is what the hallways look like when they're done um, I obviously have a lot more to do here but you know you can see let's turn it out you can see what this looks like and then you come down here and I may even do, well no, I, I do need to finish these because I want to be able to feed the the turrets off of here and then this runs out to the turret on the other side of the hangar entrance so you make the turn here and then that's a turret up above. So yeah, worked out pretty nice. I, I do like the way that this came out. Um, but like I said, I do need to come through and finish this stuff and it's going to be a lot of material. So oh, that's it. Oh, okay. I thought that said gold for some reason. I was like, what? When did that get added? <laughs> okay. We seem to be stuck. There we go. That works. 
So uh, yeah, but basically we're going to be doing a lot more of these. This is not going to be the only crawl space area. We're going to do some more. Um, thinking probably associate it to the general storage area. And then we'll have some uh, maintenance shafts and stuff running through the mountainside. Uh, one of the things that I do want to do, and I'm thinking that I, what I might do here in the near future, is to... Uh, we may put our like a, the residence area off to one side or even above. Um, I do want to have a hangar area where we will have a control center. And that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the back area here. Because I'm trying to figure out if I don't do the... Uh, well, even if I do the main... Or the uh, assembly stuff. Hmm. We could still do that. That's because it's three assemblers would be one of to get to four, right? Let's check that block count. I could swear the refineries are three blocks. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Nope, they're four. Okay. So the refineries would take all four. All right. So we'd be able to get one, two, three, four, yeah, so we'd get five refineries in here if we did that. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that a little bit more. Hence the reason why I haven't uh, closed it off yet. Oh, that's not good. Those are, getting, those are starting to get a little closer. Oh, that got way too close. <laughs> that was not good. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I want to thank you all for stopping in today. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, always feel free to uh, throw them down in the section below. If uh, you haven't done so already or you are new to the channel, I also ask that you subscribe as the likes, the subscriptions, and even the comments really do help this channel to grow. And it's greatly appreciated. On the plus side, it's also probably the easiest and fastest way to let me know that you're enjoying the content. And well, that's the kind of content I want to keep making for you. So <laughs> anyway, we're out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Have a terrific week. And we will see you back here next time for more. Sub or, whoa, <laughs> games are all starting to bleed together. <laughs> see you for ne next time for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Oh, it's been a long day.